Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Franco here, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video today. And uh, today I wanted to go over our Clan War League results, but uh, the first thing that I wanted to do was uh, I actually have a builder open here, so I thought I would show it on camera while I still have it. Um, and I actually just upgraded a wall off camera like a couple seconds ago, but uh, I figured I would upgrade the last thing here um, that's pretty significant. So I thought we would upgrade my king to level 77. Very significant number. No, I'm just kidding. There's nothing significant about it. It's just that Clan World League finally ended, so now it's time to put down the king indefinitely for another uh, month. So I'll see you in about, um, what, 23 days till next Clan World League? So that'll be about three levels. Great. Hero, hero grind will continue. Um, but yeah, so uh, I don't really know if there's anything else I can show on my progress base or anything other than that wall that I upgraded wherever it is here. And then we'll put it to the new spot. Did I get it? Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, so what happened with the last Clan War League is, well, I'll X this out and not spoil it. But first one we won pretty significantly. Um, second one, we lost by three stars. Uh, third one, we lost by three stars again. Then we won the fourth and fifth. I think they were the more bad clans. And then we started doing the strategy where the number 29 and 30 attacked the number one. And we started to pop off. We started to get some really solid stars out here. You're seeing 74 compared to our other previous good war, War 1, which was 64. It's a 10 star advantage there. Um, and then we faced one of the best clans, the second best clan in the league, and we got 66. So this strategy really worked, and then this is the worst part. So we could have even won this war too. A lot of them were a lot of toss-ups, and then the final war here, so disappointing. 79 to 80. They did all 30 attacks. We had one attack the left, and we had a number 20... Oh, wrong base here. Number 20, a rush Town Hall 14. Oh my gosh, where is it? Number 20, a rush Town Hall 14. Just wasn't attacked. And I, everybody was so disappointed. There were like nine hours left and we were just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then this Archimedes guy just never attacked. And uh, I, just, I just was so upset when I logged on and I was like, you know, like that's it. Like... If you're not committed to greatness in this clan, I don't want you in it. Like, I just put down my foot. Everybody here worked so hard for us to win. And I just I just wanted to... I, I He just wasn't committed. And I was like, I don't want it. So, kicked him out. Simple as that. Um, I think everybody was just so disappointed. And, uh, yeah, I just want I just want greatness for this clan, honestly. That's, that's about it. I know it's just a game and everything, but... Hey, just a game. I can decide who I want to kick out, and I can decide who I want to keep. And everybody else in this clan, I want to keep. Simple as that. This one guy, I didn't want to keep. So, yeah, so I kicked him out, and uh, so we're only going to be stronger. No mercy next clan in the league. Yeah, I just feel like this clan uh, is so strong, and I know we're just hungry for our next clan world leagues. Like, this one was just almost so unlucky. And we got fourth overall, which I think we definitely could have won, too. We could have. This Death Squad clan was the number one clan. We almost beat them. And uh, so if you guys don't know how I allocate the Clan War League bonuses, um, I gave it to uh, the top five. Zelda, Ares, Dave's here, Guardi, Lizzie, Tan. Um, and you, I can cross-reference here. Zelda, Ares, Dave's here, Guardi, Lizzie, Tan. And you got to just be completely open with your clan. If you want people to succeed and do well, you got to reward the top players. And I said, yeah, top dogs. They got the medals. Um, 70 league medals. And... Uh, yeah, so if you're watching this video, there actually is a spot open right now. I get tons of, well, not tons, but, like, I get people in the comments, like, are you recruiting or whatever? Hey, I don't recruit. I just make these videos. I talk to you guys watching these videos. Um, and if you're watching this, as it goes up, well, right now, you're seeing nobody's joined the clan. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, like, as recording this, nobody's joining. Um, that's why I'm keeping the chat open here. But... There's a chance that if you're one of the first viewers to watch this, you can join the clan. And I actually just raised the minimum required Town Hall to Town Hall 13. Because if we look at the Clan World League here, like, uh, let's go to one that we won pretty easily. So I, I just want to show, like, the depth of our top 30. So these bottom ones are Town Hall 12s up till, yeah, 24. And uh, I, I want 
So the average is number 15, Andrew, who's a pretty good Town Hall 13. I want people average or above average for Clan War League. Or I guess that's a little bit too demanding, but I just feel like getting more Town Hall 12s won't help us for next season. And uh, I just want to make our clan even stronger and stronger. So I think having Town Hall 13 as a minimum Town Hall is probably going to be the best route for us to take. Um, hopefully we get another strong couple Town Hall 15s or something because that Devi guy left. So our last roster ended up just being um, yeah Ares, DM Goku, Guardi, me, Mystic Magic, and Andrew are the only Town Hall 15s and 16s. We only have one Town Hall 16. We really need to step it up. Maybe even for clan, next Clan World League, I'll rush the <laughs> next Town Hall. No, I, I probably won't do that. Not for a couple months till my king is maxed out, I think. Um, yeah, I don't really mention rushing that much. So yeah, Crystal League 2 we stayed. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... Next Clan War League, we can finally get that promotion to Crystal League 1. Um, I definitely think we deserve it, and we could uh, get promoted. And uh, I guess we'll just have to see. And as I just realized that, the reason I just stuttered is I realized I made a huge, huge mistake. And I realized that the reason I wanted to record this video wasn't to upgrade the king. It was to uh, spend the hammer building that I just bought. I literally just bought it because it says six days, 23 hours of cooldown. And wow, I, I didn't realize I'm actually two medals off another hammer. So this Clan World League, I actually only get one hammer. And if I was a greedy leader, I would give those medals to myself uh, and my other four accounts. But I hate clans like that. If you're, if you're in a clan and the leader gives the medals to himself and he's not in the top five people or whatever, leave that clan instantly. Make your own clan. Do anything else. That's just so toxic. And I, I just could never stand that. I was in a clan one time, and the leader just, or some co-leader gave all the medals, joined, he, or he just joined, got promoted to co-leader or something, gave all the medals to himself, and then just left. And we were all like, what just happened? Like, everybody in the clan was like, how is this allowed? Uh, and ever since then, I've just been so scarred with ty tyrant co-leaders and everything. That's why, I, if we look here, um, I'll go to, uh, yeah, by role I meant to click. Oh my god there. Uh, I actually have no co-leaders. I don't trust anybody like that. Other than Seiko Nader, uh, which is my girlfriend in real life, and then Franco Mac. Um, I don't even promote my second and third account. I just want to have so minimal co-leaders. I want to show that everybody's equals in this clan. There's no elder. Like, none of these random people. I only make elders my friends in real life. Like, Guardi, Seiko Mac, and Seiko Nader, same person. Ren, um, Aiden Brewer, all the people that were are very loyal to the clan and I know in real life. Um, but yeah, everybody else in this clan is equals. Whoever performs the best, hey, you're getting the clan or league medal. Simple as that. Um, yeah, and I hope if you're watching this video still that you do want to join the clan and you are pretty good and you can help us out um, because I think I might actually kick out. So if we go to uh, last active... Um, this guy, Mr. Prison, Ashke, uh, and DM Artish, and um, who else? DM Abby, DM Goku, GHS. All these guys are the same person. And I kind of just want to ask, or I, I'm thinking about kicking out these last two accounts because he played over a week ago. And I'm just going to be like, hey, like, I understand this person wants the best for the clan. And if he really does, I think just getting rid of these two weak accounts might be the move. Um, I don't want to kick him out or kick out some of those accounts and make that person angry because he or GHS, DM Goku, whatever, like, he's very valuable to the clan. But I think freeing up a couple more spots might be the move. So um, maybe in the next couple days, keep checking the clan, see if there's an open spot, because there's one right now, but keep checking the clan, see if there's an open spot, and then maybe you can join, because I might kick out these two people here and uh, make the clan stronger and better for Clan War League next next season. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the video. Uh, next video I'll definitely make, I'll spend the hammer that I have, or not, or I'll just talk about how I spent the hammer, but i got to remember to do that in at least one day in four hours. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.